welcome welcome back to my bulldog's life today we're going to give the puppies a bath and um we're gonna also like just brush them after i don't know but we're just basically the main topic is giving them a bath so yeah hope you enjoy so the video. we're gonna give calvin a bath first and <laughs> It's really hard to get them up to the bath because they don't really like it. So, let's try to do that. Come on, pup. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, Calvin. Come on. Come on, babies. Come on, Calvin. A little bit effortful for Calvin to get up the stairs. Come on. He thinks he's a tree. Come on, Calvin. You're doing bath, okay? Okay, that was actually pretty easy. Good boy. Great boy. Good time. Okay. He doesn't like taking you back. <laughs> okay, so for the bulldog's coat, um, the two shampoos that I've used in the past are really any hypoallergenic, um, kind of oatmeal-based shampoo. Doesn't have to have a bulldog on the picture. Um, and then that's usually what I've used in the past. And this past, um, Bulldog breeder told me to use this Johnson's Vanilla Oatmeal Baby Wash. So literally a baby wash. <laughs> um, so again, the oatmeal you see a theme here, and Johnson Johnson is just um, gentle. The other thing that I've used um, in the past is Epsom salt for their paws. So we're going to kind of zoom in on his paw. Um, so sometimes their paws will get a little bit. You can see back here. A little bit inflamed in between to kind of see their little digits so there's a little bit of inflammation right here so i'm going to soak his paws after his bath and those and that um and that salt kind of mixture oh, okay. with the water okay Aww. and we just cleaned his wrinkles yesterday so i'm not going to clean his wrinkles again today because they don't oh, need it um but usually oops the tongue <laughs> but usually oh, if i take if i give him a bath um, I'll wash his face with just a little wet, warm washcloth, and then um, and then do the 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 ointment after into the wrinkles to keep them nice and dry. So usually, so that's the only time I really give him um, a washcloth for his wrinkles is is during the bath. Okay, so yeah, everything start. ready and at arm's reach because I usually get in the bathtub with him, not actually like naked and in, but like. I stand with him in the water, um, and I want to have everything within reach so that I don't have to get out and so that he doesn't jump out. Although with this one, this dog, I don't think he'll jump out. <laughs> but other dogs in the past have been able to jump out. So I usually just kind of wait until the water is like the temperature that he likes. So what's um, the temperature that he likes? Um, so I don't know what the degrees are because there's no thermometer on here, but. Not hot, not cold, just warm. All right, um, so. The blue means that it's colder, and then the green means warm, and then the red means hot. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for it to get warm. So the green, the water is all warmed up. I'm gonna pick. Oh, oh my God. He's like, what, 65 pounds? Give me my bones, my back hurts. <laughs> all right. And I usually, yep, look at you, I struggle, like I said. I usually um, kind of put his back, well, not yet. Okay. Sometimes I put my back legs right outside of his thighs to kind of keep him in place, but he usually doesn't move much. Of the three bulldogs that I've had, he probably moves the least and amount. And then they go like to the back of the bathtub because so they don't want the water on him. Yeah. Since they already clean his face, I'm going to keep his face away from the water. Um, if it gets wet, it's not a big deal. I'll just make sure to dry it. So I'll just wet his coat. He's got very thick uh, fur. So I'm not sure with the white bulldogs, but they, the white bulldogs tend to shed more. And I'll have to research that as to why they shed more. They just seem to have thicker hair, thicker fur compared to the other dogs that I've had. Very soft, but it's thick. It just takes more to, to wash and brush and maintain. But they're still super cute. All right, so I just rinse them off. Then I turn the water off. Can I make sure he's good? Good boy, Cal. Cal. Also, all those the black dots, um, it's just part of the skin. It's not anything yep. bad. And so then I just kind of do a big, actually, you know, just do this down his back. 
rub it in. He licks the water. Does it taste good? What did you just use? I just used a strand of oh. And I usually use, I used to use a, um, I used to use gloves, but now I just go all in there and scrub them. And it's like a massage. Right, baby? Oh. It's like a massage. Does that feel good to bubble? Yeah. Yeah. And actually, actually, um, oh, I forgot that took the washcloth. Giving dogs baths actually is good for their allergies. It kind of takes all the allergens, or not all of them, but many of the allergens off their coat. Um, so taking, giving them a bath, not super often, so it will dry out their skin. But so how we'll often? With allergies. So how often do you give them a bath? I would say once a month, but everybody's different. Every dog's different. Um, and what I also what I also do and I forgot okay. is a washcloth because I don't touch the privates because <laughs> that's just where I draw the line. You gotta draw the line somewhere. Um, so I'm gonna get a washcloth now. And I'll wash that wash them separately um, with the washcloth in those regions. I do feel like touching, right, my love? I know. Calvin, 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 say hi, sister. Say hi, sister. Oh, he's got a little soap on his mouth. <laughs> I gotta wash that off. All right. Sister, can you get me some washcloths, please? Yeah. Okay, so now she is washing the soap off. Washcloth. Mm -hmm. right, so I'm just gonna wet the washcloth. For some reason, when I turn the water on, he gets a little bit nervous, aside from the sound. There's, their hearing is sensitive. And I'm just, I can't see I think he's, he's trying to sneak behind, behind me, so I'm just going to squish him in front of me. It's okay, my love. I get, I get, I get an angle back here. Alright, so I'm going to take this. I'm just going to wash the tushy. The <laughs> other area that's important to wash is the tail. You want to get like under and inside all the crevices. Calvin. Because um, there's lots of crevices that could emerge. You might get inside all that because you don't want to cause any crevices don't emerge, what am I saying? You just don't want anything to get stuck in there and cause problems. So, I washed that out. Part of Bulldog ownership is not to get grossed out by this stuff, it is what it is. It's actually good practice for having a baby. <laughs> so, if you can't handle a Bulldog, you probably can't handle a baby. It's good to just kind of warm up to being a parent, for sure. <laughs> so yeah, so then I rinse off the top. I usually start with the middle, and I just kind of bring my hand down like that, and just get all the soap off. And as you can see in the drain, there's a lot, the big wad of bulldog hair that's being collected there. And he has way more extra hair than Teddy. Um, just the white, the white bulldog, at least in this situation, it is. I just kind of rinse them out. Um, we might do short clips of Teddy's, like bath, giving Teddy a bath, but not as much as Calvin because, like, again, we don't want it to be boring, like, too long, you know. All right. So, a little bit. Of I usually do this with my hand before I take the towel because just get extra hair off. And, like, not hair, extra water off. Okay, and then I take the towel. Look in the water, baby. <laughs> Look in the water, baby. Um, and I always take the towel and I dry his face. Even though I didn't wash it this time, I just wanna make sure that water didn't collect back up, my love. Come here, come here. I just wanna dry off oh, all those wrinkles, just to make sure everything is dry, because that's key and gently. with the bulldog. Make sure everything is dry with the wrinkles. And then, actually, you know, I'm going to do the salt thing. So oh, first. <laughs> All right, so we're going to. I just poured some Epsom salt into the water, and I actually made it the. I made it cool water because you see it's kind of hot. In the water temperature, so I'm just gonna kind of cool it down so that I don't want to get over here. Um, I'm sorry if you can't hear us though. Yeah, so we gotta make sure the water is cool because you don't want him to get overheated. Well, that's get water. overheated very easily between water, um, air temperature and water temperature. 
Um, that's one thing that I learned the hard way when I got a bulldog after having labs. Um, labs can exercise all day long and not even be affected by it. Um, and uh, bulldogs, unfortunately, can only tolerate so much heat and exercise. So we have to be careful about that. Be very, very careful, especially in the summer or if you have in hot climates. They cannot handle warm temperature, hot temperatures. So you have to watch. Oh, I've, our dogs. I've seen posts on dogs that, you know passing away because they couldn't handle the heat, so we'd be extra, extra careful with them with the heat. Um, also, um, I'm not sure if can they lick the water? Um, yeah, so this is Epsom salt, so it's pretty much salty water. Um, they shouldn't drink it, but I think it's okay if they... Yeah, it's it. probably not suggestive to drink that. Have it. it. No, no, no. No, no, no. But I don't think anything really bad would happen. It's not like it's poisonous. Calvin. No, no, no. We just want them to nope, kind of soak nope, 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 nope. their Stop. feet in there. It. <laughs> um, and again, this is for that inflammation that we saw in between his, I guess, digits or in between his toes or on, on his, of his paws. They're not that bad. Usually in my other bulldogs, um, they've had them because of like allergies, usually environmental allergies, sometimes food allergies. And this just kind of helps with that inflammation. Um, so yeah, having the uh, put on in the water um, with the yeah, salt, just, it's just gonna soak just let it soak it. it. But don't yeah. drink it. No drinking it. No drinking. We'll have to ask the vet if you could drink it. But I'm gonna guess it's not healthy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So he seems like he's getting kind of bored. So we should have brought him cookies. <gasps> Do you want a cookie? Oh, a treat for being a good boy. Where's a treat? <gasps> Where's a treat? Don't you feel okay? Oh, yep. <laughs> Leave it. That's a good boy. Our paws are healthy. Our hair is. Hold on, hold on. Our hair are really weak. So, yeah, just make sure you have good footing. I usually have to take one foot and put it on the outside of the bathtub, then pick them up. But like I said, some dogs will just jump out. He is just a big, dead heavyweight. All right. So then we're going to go downstairs and we're going to brush him because this is when the hair is nice and loose and you want to brush off all hair, extra hair that's going to come off. And I'm also going to dry my door and I'm going to dry my floor because, oh, oh. Burped, because he made a mess of my clean bathroom. <laughs> You're welcome. Kind of calm about it he doesn't like run out but teddy he like runs out like a crazy person he hates baths even more than calvin okay, so. so the final step is that sister cleans the shower because look it it's full of all those extra dog hairs what no i'm not, I'm not doing that no no that's all on you <laughs> what so um after we give him a bath we have to brush um him because all those hairs go all over the place as you can tell um, so you probably want to start from the ears and go down to his butt. You don't want to go this way because that will just make more hairs go loose. So you want to put it in the direction of his hair that's already going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So why don't we do it outside? Um, so not, so it doesn't make the make it inside just like all dirty from all his hair. And mommy doesn't want want to clean it. <laughs> but don't worry, sister will clean it after. No. <laughs> okay, so this is like six inches away from where Calvin has fallen in to the pool twice. So we are going to have a how to prevent bulldogs from falling into the pool session at a later date. Right? Yeah. Alright. Are you clean and sparkling? Yes, are you Prince? Prince Calvin? Yeah, what a good boy. Okay, say bye. Bye. What's that? <laughs>